Hello again! <laughs> well, today has been a lovely, glorious, cold school day and later on I'm going to perform in this school concert and we had the rehearsal on Monday Why? and now I'm just thinking of something to do to keep me occupied I think I know I could make Christmas cards for my classmates wait it's not Christmas yet but um, we could do that easily well not now, maybe. Maybe I practice a bit first. But the question is, what piece am I going to play? I have so many pieces. I have like Paganini Caprices. Um, I just sight read it in number twenty yesterday, and I can already memorize it. So then I've got Tartini the Devil's Trill, uh, Shk Tchaikovsky Scherzo Melody and Meditation, Vinovsky Polonaise, um, Mozart Concerto Number Five. Mozart duo for violin and viola in G. And then what else? I have so many pieces. Come on, I only mentioned seven pieces. Oh, yeah, I've got the Schindler's List. Oh yes, and the Lalo Symphony Fifth Movement and Sarasati Navara, which is for two violins, and a piece for. Like a piece, like this is 11, okay? A piece for violin, oboe, and piano. And it's like, it's just like you're playing like the same thing for 20 bars, and then another thing for 20 bars, and then I have a solo for two bars, and then back to the other 20 bars stuff. I don't really think it counts as a piece though, but yeah. What piece should I practice first? And also I have some new pieces to like sight read for next term because after all of my performances then I just don't need to play the pieces for quite a while. So I have the Riotum Concerto number 5 and some Rimsky Kosakov piece but it's not the Flight of the Bumblebee. I think it's like a fantasy or something, I don't remember. going to do the Devil's Trail Sparta by Tartini and I'm just going to like revise it. I haven't played it for quite a while. So let's see. finger just goes like then you move these two fingers in the right place like that but the thing is if you go like this that's still not correct either so you have to go like at least that's my technique
by Tati. Um, because, you know, at that time, like in the 1600s, the, everybody thought the devil was a real person. And like when the plague happened in 1645, then, wait a second, then, you know, everybody, you know, when the Great Fire of London happened and when the plague happened in 1644, 45, yeah, 44, 46, or oh, what, you know what I mean, um, everybody thought it was made by the devil himself. And in Tartini's dream, he, like, well, it's not a dream, it's a nightmare. He met the devil and he was, like, petrified. And this is like the idea of how he made this, or like wrote this piece. And it's just um, the beginning, you see here. It's like he's having a nice time. And then, you know, from... He's like this, and then, and then there's nobody there, for example. And then he's like... Oh because the devil is right there and then he's like he's like what should i do and then the devil is like dancing with him that's why there's like double steps the devil eating and munching away. <laughs> Because the fingering was like, 
I used to play like that and then I'm like what that's not correct and then I just like oh it's supposed to be like <laughs> Christmas play and it's Mary Poppins and then our part because the whole school is like participating my our part in our class we're doing like the ha 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 bit you know when you're like laughing then you go to the ceiling and then when you're like sad then you come back down but ours is that part which is really funny <laughs> 